Oh boy, I can't wait for the comment section of this video, dude. PUBG Mobile and Free Fire Mobile. Two very popular games. Two very different games. And two games where it seems like the players are in an all-out war between which one is better than the other. Like, I'm not joking, okay? If you go into any PUBG or any Free Fire video, don't go down into the comment section, and that includes this one, okay? You have 12-year-olds in an all-out war. You think World War II is a big deal? This is 16 times bigger. They're sitting there, keyboard warriors, their hard hats on, their freaking M16s, and saying, I hate Free Fire, PUBG is better, and every Fleet Fire player needs to die. And they're saying that on the other side as well, right? So it's not like one side is the nice side and one side is the mean side saying, oh my god, all the other players should die. No. It is literally both sides. People are insane, okay? And I'm sitting here like, bro, I like both games. <laughs> I like both games. I play PUBG more than Free Fire, but I've played both games and I like both games. They're different in their own ways, and there are some times where Free Fire is better than PUBG, and PUBG is better than Free Fire. And you know what? I thought this time in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to actually talk about those times. We're going to talk about the ways that Free Fire is better than PUBG, and then we're going to talk about the ways that PUBG is better than Free Fire. And I want this video's comment section to be civilized, okay? I'm counting on you, all right? I already know there were kids that didn't even watch one minute of this video, and they're already literally fighting in the comment section right now, but make it civilized. Okay, that's all I ask, all right? We're gonna make this the one time that there is free fire in PUBG in the same video, and every single person in the comment section is gonna be nice to one another. I wanna see every single person comment down below. Hey man, I play free fire, you play PUBG. No big deal, it's perfectly fine. I'm not gonna hate you because you play a different game than me. We like them both at the same time. Aww. I'm counting on you, okay? But yeah, we're gonna talk about these two different games, we're gonna compare them in this video, and um, I hope you guys are going to enjoy. If you all do enjoy this video, then all I ask is for you to just take a second and leave a like down below and subscribe to my channel for more PUBG and Free Fire content coming out very soon. Thank you so much, guys, and let's get into this. First order of business, we must talk about characters in the two different games. So. In Free Fire and in PUBG, you have a choice between many different characters that you can play with in your game, right? Because who wants to have all the same skin all the time? That's boring. But the problem is, in PUBG Mobile, you can't choose between your characters in Battle Royale. You can in Evo Ground matches, in TDM, stuff like that, but you only have one character that you can use in Battle Royale. You can put whatever the heck costume you want on it. One day you could be wearing a dress. The next day you could be wearing a full decked out military suit. Nothing stopping you from that. But you can't choose between the two different characters. Whereas in Free Fire Mobile, you actually have many different characters you can choose between. And you can go literally match to match in Battle Royale using completely different characters. So, hey, in that regard, I'd probably say Free Fire is a bit better. Next up, though, we got to talk about the overall main menu layouts. Now, I think we all remember not too long ago when PUBG Mobile just had one main menu screen and there were so many different buttons all over the place. It was so difficult to navigate your way around and there were a lot of times that you completely forgot buttons were even there. Now, the thing is, PUBG Mobile is no longer like that, and they've actually revamped their main menu to where you can swipe between a couple of different main menu screens, and it makes it a lot less cluttered, and you can even go as far to actually completely removing buttons that you would never press in the first place. Free Fire is still sort of like the way PUBG was before. When you look at their main menu screen, there is so much stuff all over the place, tons of tiny little buttons all over the place, and if you have a small phone screen, then uh, good luck trying to press that. I think Free Fire's main menu screen is a lot more cluttered than PUBG right now, and I'd have to give the win to PUBG for how their main menu is organized. But ooh man, we're getting into the nitty gritty of stuff, alright? These games are right now tied with one point for each. Now, we have to actually get into the gameplay. And talking about the overall graphics, because that is pretty important for a lot of people. I mean, 
I'm going to just have to flat out say it. Graphics are better on PUBG Mobile. It used to be actually very close, okay? And a lot of people could argue that Free Fire might have even had better graphics than PUBG in the past. But now, just recently, we just got that massive update in PUBG, and they completely revamped so much stuff. A few days ago, I did my first gameplay on this new update, and I was shocked at seeing how many new shadows and dynamic range of colors and everything was added into PUBG. And Free Fire is still much more similar to the way it was like a year ago, okay? I think the biggest comparison that you can do is looking at the water between the two different games, and you can see just how different PUBG is from Free Fire. There may be some small aspects where Free Fire might excel in terms of graphics, but just overall flat out graphics experience in general, you're gonna have to give the win to PUBG Mobile. However, on the flip side, when we actually talk about this, you know, the problem that actually arises is the fact that since PUBG has better graphics, that means it's not going to run on as many devices as Free Fire. So we're actually going to have to give the win to Free Fire for overall compatibility on all types of devices, okay? If you have a very low-end budget device, it's actually going to be a little bit difficult to run PUBG Mobile. And I'm sure there are at least a couple of people watching this video right now who have a lot of problems. You might be getting 15 frames per second. Things might not be rendering in properly. And you have a lot of problems, especially if you have a phone that's under $100. But if you're playing Free Fire, it's a lot better optimized for those low-end devices. So anybody that has a cheap phone is going to be able to have a better time playing Free Fire. However, when we look at the overall gameplay experience between the two games, things change a lot, okay? We have three maps available in Free Fire. We have Bermuda, Purgatory, and Kalahari. On the flip side, when we look at PUBG Mobile, there are a lot more. We have Erangel, Miramar, Sunhawk, Vikendi, and Livik, and then that's not taking into account the other TDM Ruins, TDM Warehouse, Domination, and that, 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 whatever the two cars like fighting against one another map is. I mean, there's so many different map options, and it's important to note that Free Fire does have a ton of options as well. Despite only having three maps, they're going to have mini game modes like constantly rotating all the time, very frequently rotating different game modes and keeping the players engaged. Whereas PUBG is a lot slower to introducing new game modes, Free Fire is constantly pushing out new and different things, but you're still only going to have those three different maps. So it's a draw when I talk about the overall different experience in different maps and game modes that you can choose between. But if we're talking about maps specifically, then I'm going to have to give the win to PUBG Mobile. However, this is entirely subjective and I can't actually give a point to one of the two games. I'm going to say a pretty bold statement, and that is that Free Fire is a little bit more intense than PUBG Mobile. Here's my reasoning. Free Fire matches are a lot shorter. They're going to be like at max 10 minutes. That's what they advertise on the Google Play Store and the App Store. PUBG Mobile matches can be over 20 minutes at a time. Sometimes I've had rare occasions where my matches have gone on to last like 30 minutes long. That's a long, long time. So Free Fire is like half that, even a little bit shorter than that. You're going to have 50 players in a match in Free Fire, and all maps aside from Livic are going to have 100 players in PUBG Mobile. Livic is a lot smaller, and it's a lot more similar to Free Fire. I think that's the big reason why they added Livic in, is to try to draw away some of those Free Fire players to give a more similar experience. There are 52 players in Livic, and as I said, Free Fire maps are smaller, they're more intense, they're going to be shorter matches, and you're going to only have 50 players. So, I can't give a point to either Free Fire or PUBG because half of the people watching this video are going to like that PUBG is a little bit more laid back, a little bit more tactical, you have to listen out and see if you hear gunshots in the distance, and half of the people like the fact that Free Fire is a little bit more of a run and gun type of game where you just blast through location to location and kill as many people as you possibly can in 10 minutes. Very different gameplay styles, but I can't give a point to one or the other games because some people like one or the other. 
Now, a big difference between the two games is the fact that Free Fire doesn't really have bullet travel time when you're shooting your guns. When I very first played Free Fire, I was shocked because there was a person like 500 meters away from me and I picked up a regular assault rifle, I shot a couple of times, instantly hit the guy. No travel, no wait, zero delay, instant hit on the enemy players. Yeah, there's a guy way over here. Look at that, auto-aim. And it has instant, there's no travel time when you're shooting your bullets. Look at this guy. Holy freaking! You don't have that with PUBG Mobile. If a person is 500 meters away and he's running this way, you gotta shoot right here because by the time he runs to that spot, then the bullet's gonna hit him. You don't have to do that with Free Fire, and because of that, I'm going to make the bold statement that I think Free Fire is an easier game to learn. It's not necessarily a positive point to the game, but simply put, if you've never played a Battle Royale game before, Free Fire is going to be the game that you're going to have an easier time right at the very beginning than PUBG Mobile. But oh my god, dude, if we're talking about customization, that is something that Free Fire excels in. As I said earlier, there are tons of different characters that you can choose between when you're jumping into Battle Royale and Free Fire. And not only that, as I said, PUBG has all of the different skins that you can choose between different costumes and stuff like that. You have that in Free Fire as well. But the customization does not stop there, no. You can choose skill sets that you can actually customize between your different characters and those skill sets will give you different bonuses when you jump into Battle Royale. As I said, not very realistic at all. You're not going to just have random skill sets in real life, right? But it does make it a little bit more strategic. And then on top of that, you have pets. Yes, I'm talking about pets. You actually have pets in Free Fire that you can collect and customize, and <laughs> if that's not the best thing in the entire world, I don't know what is, okay? Again, as I said, not realistic at all. So, as I said, the realism point goes to PUBG, obviously, but that customization and that creativity, maybe even, I'm gonna have to give that to Free Fire. There's just, there's just no comparison between the customization options that the two games have. But, pretty quickly, it is important to note that PUBG Mobile has more weapons in the game. This is a shooting game. That's pretty important. I'd say that's arguably one of the most important things after maps and graphics, maybe. The fact that PUBG has more weapons simply put in this game is a massive point to PUBG Mobile. So, that's another point on the PUBG Mobile side. And then another pretty important thing that comes to Battle Royale games, more so than a lot of other games, are vehicles, okay? And simply put, I would say that PUBG Mobile is better when it comes to vehicles. Both have a decent selection, like I have a list right here in Free Fire. Correct me if I'm wrong, has the Jeep, motorcycle, pickup truck, four-wheeler, monster truck, amphibious motorcycle, sports car, and golf carts. I think I got all of them. And then for PUBG, correct me again if I'm wrong, you have the UAZ, Dacia motorcycle, motorcycle with the sidecar, Murado pickup truck, aqua rail, buggy, minibus, PG-117, Tukshai, and the snowmobile. There might be a couple of other ones that I forgot. Um, this is a list that was created a few months ago. So, again, there are, you know, there are decent amounts within both games, but from the experience that I've had, I would say that they drive a bit better on PUBG Mobile. They feel a lot less realistic in Free Fire, and it's a little bit more difficult for me personally to control. So, it's pretty hard to say, but I would probably give the points to PUBG when it comes to vehicles. And last but not least, we gotta talk about the developers of the two different games. So we got Garena, who makes Free Fire, and that's based in Singapore. And then on the flip side, we have Tencent, who currently makes PUBG Mobile, and that's based in China. Now we all know about that controversy of PUBG being banned in India because of that security threats with China. And because of that simple security threats, I'm gonna have to say that Free Fire gets the point for simply you know, not having that issue, okay? The fact that people actually, you know, exercise caution with playing PUBG Mobile, that's a big red flag when it comes to that game. And obviously things are going to change. I would say in probably within a month, it might even be based in South Korea or hey, maybe even in India. I don't know, dude. But 
PUBG Mobile is probably going to change in where it's being based, and then obviously we're not going to have that issue anymore. But as of right now, since it is still owned by Tencent and based in China, that's a problem, and it's not going to be a point for PUBG. It's going to be a point for Free Fire. And there are a lot of other things that I could probably talk about, but I wanted to go over an overall general comparison between the two games, trying to, you know, incorporate all of the major different aspects between Free Fire and PUBG. And really, it comes down to two completely different types of play styles. I can't really say that Free Fire is better than PUBG. And I can't really say that PUBG is better than Free Fire because the types of people who play those games are very different people and they like very different types of gameplay. The people who play Free Fire like a more action-packed game. A game where you run and gun and try to shoot as many people as possible. You don't have to be quiet as much and it's a much more arcadey feel. PUBG Mobile, on the other hand, is for people that want to actually get more immersed into the game. They're maybe lying low, prone, in the grass for a couple of minutes at a time. They hear gunshots over to the left, and then they slowly creep up to that person and try to take them out with a headshot without that person noticing. PUBG is a much more tactical game, in my opinion, and it's not a bad thing that Free Fire is not. They're two completely different play styles, and honestly, there are times that I would rather prefer to play Free Fire over PUBG and PUBG over Free Fire. So honestly, if you're watching this video and you can't really decide between the two games, ask yourself, do you want a more arcadey feel? A game where you could just casually jump in, play for 10 minutes, shoot as many people as possible and not have to worry about, you know, lying prone all the time and being super tactical all the time, you know, always constantly watching the circle and, and just being very, very tactical. Well, Free Fire might be that game for you. But if you're somebody who enjoys that, who enjoys the intensity of potentially having somebody looking down from you from above up on a mountain at any point as you're rotating to a different building, then PUBG might be that game for you. Two completely different play styles, and because of that, I can't say that one game is better than another. You gotta make that decision for yourself. You gotta see which type of play style that you enjoy better. And with that being said, that wraps things up for today's video. It was a bit longer than I was expecting, but I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you guys stayed this far, then comment the word, um, alligator, okay? This isn't a real alligator head, but <laughs> comment the word alligator, and uh, yeah, <laughs> we'll see how many people actually stayed this far. Make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy, and if there were any things that I forgot, then you can comment them down below, and I can leave a heart on your comments if there are any things that you think I missed when I was comparing Free Fire and PUBG. Subscribe for more Free Fire and PUBG content coming out very soon, and we are out of time, so I will see you all later.